Yeah, good morning students. Um, I hope your weekend was good. Today, we want to actually look at um, another topic entirely, which is transformation of non-linear relationship to linear form. I will repeat again, transformation of non-linear relationship to linear form. Now, the question says that convert the following non-linear equation to linear form y equals to mx plus c where a and b are constants state what the variables x and y are and the constants m and c represents now you should all remember that uh, the equation of linear of straight line equation is this y y equals to mx plus c that is the equation of a uh, straight line uh, mind you every question given they are not linear in nature like this y goes to a squared plus b y goes to ax plus b over x then c that is y goes to a e raised to power minus b x they are not linear in nature they are non-linear now we are the one to transform them into a linear equation. The question is, how do we do this? Uh, before we move to the topic properly, I want to remind you of, um, of the nature of graph, the nature in which we find our graph, uh, most especially when the slope is positive or when the slope is there, negative so let me quickly remind you uh sorry i want to remind you here so when we have um, something of this nature y equals to minus ax plus plus b now remember that the nature of the graph will appear this way it will appear like this from here down to this place this is how the nature of the graph will look like whereby this side is going to be the y axis and here is going to be the x axis take note of that but if the nature of the graph appear this way y goes to ax plus b that is making the coefficient of x to be a positive uh, slope then uh the graph is going to look this way the graph is going to look this way i, I hope you still remember yes the, this line is not touching this one this line here is not touching this. It's a straight line, but that line we cut across this part and this part. You know, something of this nature. So that straight line will not touch this edge. Though there is another situation whereby the straight line will touch the uh, the origin, and that is when we have y equals to x. Then you have something like this: y equals to x. You have something like this. Don't mind my barrel straight line that straight line passing through the origin but the situation there is when we have y equals to x now let's go back to our main work now going back to our main work we want to transform y equals to ax squared plus b uh, into a linear equation of course this is not this is a non-linear equation why because the power here is 2 and when that we have the power of 2 there then we say it is uh, a quadratic uh, equation and in any quadratic equation we always have a parabola we always have what a parabola now how do we now transform this into a linear equation uh one thing i want to uh, say at this point is that um So sorry okay one thing i want to say at this point there is that um we can easily transform this uh quadratic equation which is also called non-linear into this form how uh, uh, okay uh let's see so solution let's say we have y equals to ax plus b now uh, y a s squared plus b now the 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 graph of this uh, equation should appear this way assuming we want to go to the normal graph should appear this way but mind you there's a way we can transform this into a linear equation and how do we do that 
is just a mere substitution uh, because nonlinear equation at times could be very hard to interpret. But writing them in linear form will actually make our work to look uh, easier. And that is actually the purpose of uh, this uh, nonlinear equation. So when we are solving a question like this, we just need to uh, actually replace our x and y values so that they can take in another value. Yes. So now if you want to transform this now into a linear equation, of course, what we just need to do here is that uh, we look at uh okay let me let me bring the from the question we have y equals to mx plus c of course we can compare y equals to ms plus c we can compare it with the given question what is the given question y equals to uh, a x square plus b where okay let's see now now, what is the coefficient? What is the value of x here? What is the value of x here? Now, if you look at here, x here is x here can be x here is a x square in this equation. I hope you can see that. As there is x square in this equation, fine. You can see. And then um y y here is uh is this uh in is this dependent variable so y you replace y with a uh, small y that this small y is coming from this uh, equation so what we are actually doing is that we are making uh x and y to take another value from the question so by the time we do like that it's like we are substituting this now into a linear form of a uh, equation so how do we now plot our graph you just plot our graph by look at this yes we have our uh, coordinate plane uh, don't mind me it's supposed to be straight line but because i'm using the ordinary hand and i'm not really balanced here uh yes so at this point here of course naturally uh if you look at this here should be uh our y as this here should be our x as is i'm just actually writing it from this uh, normal graph that is supposed to look like but we are transforming it to linear equation that means our graph is going to be a straight line so and then the gradients the gradients a yeah this is the gradient a uh yes this is the, the gradient is uh m you can see coefficient of x here is m and uh, the 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 c is the y intercept y intercept is the c the y intercept is the c you can see so there is the y intercept then we have the slope as m and so on then now if you want to rewrite this one in form of linear equation we want to rewrite y equals a x squared plus b in form of linear equation what do we do all we just need to do is that um of course we have done the first part by replacing uh the value of x to be x square and replacing the value of uh, y to be y you can see just a substitution so now instead of this one to be y you can see instead of this place to be y now it will no longer be y but it is not going to be y it's not going to be a small y it's no longer going to be capital y but what but small y and then in this place now it's not going to be capital x as it's supposed to be here it's going to be what it's going to be s square is going to be a square so from there we are going to have what we call a straight line graph a straight line graph so that is just the transformation so we're able to transform this and at the same time we're able to replace it on the and we are able to make use of um, those i mean such transformation on the graph is as simple as that is as simple as that it's like just uh two steps number one is you compare the equation given or the equation given to the linear form of equation and another thing is that you will ensure that you will represent those values on your graph so we are done with uh, number one now how do we move to number two let's see what number two uh really look like you can see it number two let's see what it look like number two says uh y equals to ax plus b over x now how do we solve this problem uh of course we can solve it this way since we are actually uh trying to 
uh, uh, transform it to this linear equation y equals to ms plus c as you can see from the from the question y equals to ms plus c now uh, mind you you can actually write everything down you can actually write everything down that in this place that is i'm going back to number one that in this place y equals to y that, yes then um what is our x our x that is the s square now will be replaced with x so s equals to s square and then uh the gradient m the gradient m uh after letter m is now a in this one then the intercept the y intercept is c and the y intercept c has been the y intercept c is b from the question you can see all this if it's being substituted into a straight line equation or a linear equation then we are going to have something of this uh, form just a kind of substitution but when you are substituting mind you you are substituting the right thing now we come back to number two so y goes to ax plus b over x now the first thing is that how do we change this one this one on its own into linearity how do we transform it into linearity it's very simple now we can't just transform this to linearity without doing some uh process now uh of course we can look at this question and say okay y equals to ax plus b over x and then you can just say that maybe uh, multiply you can say multiply both sides you can say multiply both sides by x or you can do your normal function by putting over one you still get the same thing now let's multiply both sides by x now so if you multiply y times x y times x what do we have we have xy or yx i'm putting it i'm putting y first because we want to replace that uh, yx we want to replace it with y then equals to as times uh, uh, so uh, one so ax here now if you multiply ax times uh, x so what do you think we are going to have yes i want you to think about it first so multiply as uh, x what do you think we are going to have so i'm asking a question so so that i'll be able to know if you really understand what we are saying or not okay yes he, of course it's going to be a s square a s square remember we are multiplying both sides by x and when we say multiply both sides by x it's going to affect this one it's going to affect this and this so a s squared then plus b x times x remember it's going to be b yes because b over x times s x will have cancelled x then you are left with b good now we are done with that we will now replace or we compare 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 reason i want to do the compare reason i want to compare with the normal equation from the question what is the normal equation y equals to ms plus c so y equals to mx plus c now the the, the, the value of capital letter y which is the dependent variable is yx in this case you can see yx yx then um what are the value of x here the value of x here of course is going to be s square x square so it's going to be s square and uh, another thing here is uh, uh the, the the slope m here is going to be a from the question so why the y intercept which is c is going to be b you can see so simple so simple it's just a matter of substituting substituting when you substitute then you get what you need but anytime you are solving a question just like the particular one we are solving now ensure that you first of all put it in a kind of a nature whereby you'll be able to replace those values with this uh, equation of a linear form when you talk of equation of a linear form it's still the same as equation of a straight line that is a yeah, equation of straight line graph that is it okay good now how do we now uh, how do we construct our graph how do we sketch our graph so we have this uh the coordinates first the coordinates first so at this point now of course this is supposed to be y 
y axis y is supposed to be x axis but it has been replaced so y axis this time around is going to be y x you see y x aha uh -huh. and uh, and um, x axis which is x supposed to be here but has been replaced with what x squared so this is going to be x squared so you can see it's so simple so simple you don't need to stress yourself just understand two things two things number one you should just be able to you know transform any form of uh, uh, equation into linear form such that it meets the requirement of y goes to ms plus c then number two those ones that you're able to substitute for you should be able to put them in the graph and that is what you have just done just two steps and then you are true uh there's another alternate um, solution for this alternate solution alternate solution now in case you don't want to uh multiply both sides at, at, as this uh, you know you can see it from here you don't want to multiply both sides maybe you want to let's say you want to divide you want to divide both sides it's, it's also possible so we have the question already y equals to ax plus b over x and then this time around what you prefer is dividing is dividing both sides by x you can also divide <laughs> no problem so what you just do is that uh, just say y over x equals to remember that when you are divided it's going to affect every value plus b over x uh you know it's supposed to be i don't want to write divide over x here so i can write divide over x here such that this one become y over x equals to this will have cancelled this then we are left with a plus then this will have been b over x times one over x uh, eventually this will be y over x equals to a plus b times one is b over s times s is a, a square a square okay i hope you are enjoying this uh, lesson now at this point um yes at this point you can just say that um, you can continue from here from here and say that's okay y over s maybe you want to you want your uh you want the value of uh, x to come first then you can actually reposition the value so that uh, it can suit you it can suit your uh purpose so you can do it that way as well so in that situation what do we need to do here so y over s you can write it as a y over s equals to now a plus now b because i want to separate a and b are constant don't forget then i want to separate uh a and b such that x squared here will be on its own so it's just going to be one or times one over s square anyone one over s square so you can see from here now we can know we, we know that our y equals to y over x our uh, uh x that is, in, is what one over s square and then we know our constant already our constants then uh, we move on anyway that is not the big deal there so we have actually gotten the main thing there because the, the question says we should always state what our variables x and y ah yes so here we have this and here we have this so at this point uh, let me manage this please so, sorry for that at this point uh y here is a y over x y over x and here is going to be our x here is going to be one over x squared of course we are still going to have a straight line graph a straight line graph a straight line graph such that uh, a straight line graph such that the the y intersects i hope you can still remember the y intersects is uh, a the y intercept is a yes y intercept is a don't forget you know the y intercept is the one that has no value attached to it just like in this case of c so definitely our c here is also a in this one yes so here is going to be a that is going to be our y intercept so why the slope 
why the slope? What is going to be our slope? Our slope is going, going to be the coefficient of a, a yes, coefficient of x is going to be our slope. So what is going to be the coefficient of x here? Of course, if you place one over x square, it's going to be x here. So the coefficient of x here is going to be b. So the coefficient of x here is a uh, b. Let's take note of this. Very, very important. I hope you are communicating. Yeah. All right. Lastly, lastly, lastly. Hmm. This last one, I want you to uh, please uh, watch it, if possible, two, three times, so that you can get uh, what, it, uh, what we are trying to pass across. Look at the question. See, we have... Um, y equals to a e raised to power minus b x minus b x anyway this may look strange to you but let me tell you something the e that is here it means exponential and i see e in mathematics it means exponential so this one is a kind of exponential equation and the way we solve it is quite different from the way we solve the two examples yes quite different from the way we solve, solve these two examples so anytime we see exponential it's always advisable we take log of both uh, sides so how do we solve this so we have um, uh, remember that we are still putting everything into this uh, linear form of equation y equals to mx plus c yes based on what the question asked us to do and remember we are also going to state what the what variable x and y is so how do we do this let's move on so y equals to a e raised to power minus b s you know i told you that when we have an exponential we need to take lean of both sides when we talk of lean we also talk of a uh, log log take lean of both sides ln both sides take lean of both sides so we are taking lean of both sides remember that lean and log they also mean the same thing it's just another name so we have lean y this one is effective when we are dealing with exponential please take note of that so lean y so we are taking lean now lean y equals to lean now how to open back a e raised to power minus b x please take note now, after we have taken the lane, then the next thing is that we can apply a uh, property of log. You know, I told you that lean and log, they are the same thing. Property of log. Property of log, we can apply it. So how do we apply property of log into this uh, scenario? Now, let me show you. We have lean y equals to, we have lean this the meaning of this here is a times e raised to power minus b x that is the meaning and uh, remember that we have lean y equals to now anytime we have multiplication in log reading let me quickly remind you that when we have maybe log of uh, let's say log of uh, a plus log of b you know it's always a log a times b so same thing when we have times you can change it to plus i hope you remember so the same thing we are going to apply here so here we have times now we change it to plus so it's going to be lean a then times here become plus lean e raised to power minus b x okay uh, good now at this point uh we can now make use of uh, what we call a power property Power property, but yet we still ensure that our x is right here. So power property, and you know the reason why our x is supposed to be there. Remember that we are dealing with uh, y goes to m s plus c. So we can't just afford to be taking our uh, x value at any point uh, uh, that we like. So we can just leave our x there and then bring uh, b. To the other side so bring it b to the other side we give us a lean y equals to lean a 
then we want to take this minus b now this minus b here we come to the other side so it become minus you know, this minus will affect this plus so it becomes minus uh, b lean e are you with me lean e raised to power x uh, i hope you get that point okay if you get that point then we can uh, proceed now so we have lean y equals to lean a then minus b raised to power x now let me quickly show you something because you might be looking at uh, how does this lean e disappear how does it disappear this is this this is just the situation now when you come here let me show you something on top here when you come here if you have uh, uh, you have uh, maybe you have uh, lean you have let's say we have log log e this log e automatically log e is one it's just like saying log to the base e of e is one so log to the base 10 of 10 is one so this log e alone is one another thing we can also say is that they are they are reciprocal of each other they are the reciprocal of each other what did i mean by this that lean e is the reciprocal of one another so if i have lean here if i have lean here i need to show you this so that i can get if i have lean 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 e here or i have lean and i have e here so we can say okay lean the reciprocal of lean is e but if you don't want to use that because lean e is as lean times e and uh, we can also say that it, it is lean times let go of lean normally or naturally is one over lean whereby this one we cancel this one here left is one so another name for this e is one over lean so that is the reason why lean always cancel e because they are reciprocal of each other just like when you have uh two and then then i say okay let's go of two but let's go of two multiplied by by itself is going to give you one because two we could have cancelled two that is one so same thing with lean so when you have lean and you have e they are reciprocal of each other so it's just like another name given to e is the reciprocal of lean so lean times e is seen as one over lean so when it's being cancelled then you have one and that was the sudden disappearance of lean e here so let me put something like this so that i can see when you are watching the uh, uh watching it over again so lean e is the reciprocal lean e is the reciprocal 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 of one another please take note of that so when i say reciprocal that means if they multiply if a number multiply by its reciprocal then you have one okay so we can proceed yes or no yes aha uh -huh. so now we cannot have a lean y equals to uh minus b raised to power x minus b raised to power x and uh what other thing minus b raised to power x then plus lean a there is reason why i transform uh that's one so minus b raised to power x plus uh, lean a I think there's nothing we can do to that again. So we can now start um, uh, uh, transform. We can now uh, substitute it into this or transform it into this uh, equation, to this linear form of equation. Y equals to m s plus c. Okay, let's begin to list our variable now. The value of y, that is capital Y here, is lin y. You can see from that lin y. And uh, the value of um, x here is minus b. The value of x here is minus b. I, I hope you can see that. Yes, you can see that. The value of x here is a uh, minus b. And uh, what other thing have we not uh, taken notes? Is it minus b? Sorry, the value of x. Is x so sorry value of x is x i think there is a there's a mist up somewhere there's a mist up somewhere 
Oh, so sorry, so sorry, so sorry, so sorry. There's a mixed up somewhere such that this minus b x they should have come together here. So sorry for that. So sorry, should have come together here. The two are supposed to have come together here. So so that it become minus b x. Sorry for that. Minus b x. So please, uh, this one will still be there x will still be there but it is this one so it's not going to be power it's going to be minus b s okay minus b x and then here also is going to be minus b x yeah so sorry aha uh -huh. i think we have we have arrived now so at uh, the value of y equals to lean y please from here this uh minus b x from here from this particular place this is x i'm sorry for that i'm sorry for that so minus b s will come to the other side become minus b s so this link will cancel this e okay so that you will now be left with minus b s and i've explained why the why this link will cancel e at uh, at the other time so we can see so our y is link y our x is minus b and uh, our s is a uh, where is our x where is our x here? So our x is x. Our x is x, not minus b. Our x is x. Please take notes. That is the reason why we have to be extra careful. If I, I'm, as a teacher, you still, uh, still need to look at it critically, how much more you. So we have to look at it critically. We don't need to rush. So we can see we are comparing the two. So the value of x is x. It's facing here. And then the value of um, gradient m is minus b. You can see minus b the two minus b. And then the value of um, what are that constant c is lean a. So the value of c is a lean a. Okay. Um, okay. 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 Now, uh, before I uh, conclude. Please, I need to show you something, something, just a very simple thing. That naturally, the the exponential form of equation is always like this because it's always in these uh, uh, aspects. Look at it. This is the way you, this is the way you see any equation that is exponential. You can see, okay, such that this side is going to be the y axis, such that this side is going to be the x axis, such that this side is going to be y intercepts and y intercept is c from from the equation of course i have, I have named each of these uh, variable for you before during our uh classes yes and then the slope is the normal m the slope is the normal m slope is the normal m this i have to take time to explain this so that i can understand good um from there uh, so this is just the natural graph of exponential. You can see, just like we have natural graph of a quadratic equation, it is parabola, okay? But for exponential, it will not curve like the one of a parabola. It's just going to stop halfway, something like this. You can see what you have on it. So it's going to stop halfway. It's not going to curve like uh, the one of a parabola so now this uh, equation can now we have now transformed it into a linear equation then the representation of it in the graph is this let's see how we are going to represent it in the graph yes this is supposed to be our y of course it's a straight line graph good 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 now what do you discover here that's another thing you need to know. What you discover here is, you see, that the coefficient of x here is minus b. Definitely, anytime we have a slope as negative, slope as negative, how will the, how will the, uh, the nature of the graph look like? The nature of the graph will come this way. I don't know if some of you still remember the course of this uh, uh, explanation. Let me let me quickly go there so that I can see. You can see this is how it will look like. See, so y goes to minus because the coefficient of x is a negative, which is a slope. So anytime slope is negative, 
it comes through this way. And that was, you can see, so it's another thing we normally take note of anytime you are transforming into a linear equation. Because this alone can make you not to get a full mark. Okay? So what is going to be our y? Our y is now lin y. Lin y. And what is going to be our x? Our x is a natural x, the normal x, because that is what we have, that is what we have from this. From this, you can see our s is x, and then uh, what's going to be our y intercept? Our y intercept is the representation of y is that is c, which is lin a, uh, lin a, and then uh, what other thing? Then the slope. What is our slope? I would like to put our, my slope here, m equals to minus b, minus b. You can see, yeah, that is all about a uh, uh, exponential equation now i won't go more than this in fact with these three examples we have been able to uh we have been able to uh, actually uh, go through you should be able to solve any question relating to conversion of non-linear equation into a linear form of a equation please after watching this video kindly go so your uh, homework and attempt the necessary question. Kindly go to your homework and attempt the necessary question. And I will also try as much as possible to include a short note in which you are going to be guided with the notes. Thank you and God bless you. I hope you understand. Please ensure you subscribe to the link under when you see when you when you go to the youtube you see subscription i mean subscribe uh, link or subscribe icon click on it so that you can be able to get more videos aside from the normal lesson or from normal uh, classes we are doing thank you god bless you my name still remains the same mr akonde aka ebony Texi. bye